everybody. It's been a little while. I'm back. Um, I'm in a new place. You might hear the background noise of the cars going back and forth. Um, in a new in between from my old place to my new place, we're renting a spot. Um, as far as the cars go, yeah, you know how that is, Ben. But it's at least it's not like right next to where you play music anyway. But yeah, so that'll be that for a little while. Yeah, so that'll be that for a little while. So I haven't been doing a lot of videos. But I had to do this video because this is finally complete and ready to go. This is, well, ready to not go. This is the Charles 75N fabric, Paisley fabric Telecaster. I'm not calling it a fabric top because it's not a fabric top. It's a fabric top and a fabric sides and a fabric back. So yeah, anyway, oh, and a fabric headstock, which is just the top. That is actually a fabric top headstock there. Um, came out really good. It started out as just a project body that was just a squire in the corner of the workshop hunk of junk body that uh, really was just probably never gonna get um, used. There's not gonna be much use for it. Then I saw Charles do a um, cloth wrap for Ben Coombs. Looking at you, Ben, with the traffic. Yeah, man. Um, and it was really sick. It was really cool looking and uh, had a, gave, a, gave a great vibe. So I figured, man, I'd contact him and, tr and hook it up. So we did a little bit of um, insider trading. And um, yeah, he really did a great job. And then I took it the rest of the way with uh did the relic look to it use some parts that i already had laying around then purchased some parts as well um made a bone nut for it by hand uh, from a blank and um it's got some pretty cool relic uh earl slick pickups in it and we'll listen to those right now um and i've been having a lot of fun with it for a squire neck and um you know, I did a few things. I kind of softened the edges on the fretboard, rounded the uh, fret ends, and um, got it hooked up pretty well. So let's give it a listen, see what we think. Start in the middle position. This is just my lapel microphone with my PV Classic 30 is what you're mainly hearing. I have a bunch of pedals and stuff over here, but for the most part, you're just gonna hear what's coming out of here, and if, unless I hit my um, my looper box, then we're going to hear a whole bunch of music and we can do that in a minute to give a backing track. Let's go up to the neck. That's cool. It's probably going to be loud on the lapel mic here. So now I'd like to play with a little backing track that's just like a four chord um, progression that I wrote and then um, kind of allows me to do a little bit of soloing and stuff that I like to do to, to you know work out a guitar and see how it plays and sounds. And I'll switch back and forth and you guys should be able to follow where I'm at on the pickups. Um, we'll play for about a minute.
with the bridge. for what it's going to do and that's kind of I really like it the relic look the feel of the neck it's a very thin little little thin C thank you Charles for uh, helping to hook this up man I really can't wait for you to come out to the shop and hang out and get to play it um yeah and have some fun with it it really is pretty fun like so thank you so much for checking out the charles 75 n telecaster please do hit him up if you wanted to get a cloth wrapped body or just a topped body or you had a piece of cloth that you would want to send him or you want to have him go and pick out some custom cloth for you. It's a killer, killer way to take a guitar that was maybe at its end and re renew it or take a piece of cloth that's special to you and bring it in and put it on a guitar or um, yeah, or just make something completely custom that uh, is pretty fun to have. So thanks again for checking out Presley Customs and hopefully I'll see, uh, see you soon with some reviews on these that I'm just getting cranked out. I'm getting, getting going at the shop and uh, even though I'm in the middle of this move, I'm trying to keep the builds coming together and I'll do a little bit of filming of that very soon. Thanks for checking it out guys.